Hi everyone, my name is Evelyn Lili. Welcome to this video. I will be showing you how you can be able to share CAD and JS data between ArcGIS Pro, AutoCAD Map 3D, and ArcGIS Online. With the recent integration of JS and BIM across the Autodesk and Esri platforms, it's very easy to share both CAD and JS data across the different platforms. So I'll start off by showing you existing CAD data in ArcGIS Pro. So what you can see on my screen is ArcGIS Pro. I have CAD data in the form of DWG within a folder in my catalog. So I'm going to use the CAD to GeoDatabase um, conversion tool, geoprocessing tool to convert the CAD data to GeoDatabase feature class. So I'll come to tools, search for CAD to GeoDatabase, then input that particular uh, data set that I need to, con uh, to convert. So I'm simply browsing to the location where I have my, my data. So I have it in Kalolini and right here I have Kalolini DWG, which is a CAD file. So then my output geodatabase is the existing geodatabase I created. That is the CAD and JS data sharing geodatabase. And then this will be Kalolini CAD to geodatabase data set. Then I'm, I'll go ahead and run the tool. So it's taking, it will take a few seconds for that to be uh, completed. Then we have it in our, in our geodatabase. So we can just uh, view details. You can see it's, it's actually running. So this is the CAD to geodatabase tool, a tool that is used to convert CAD files to GeoDatabase feature class. So that is completed. So let's come back to our catalog and just see if that has been added to our GeoDatabase. So right here. Okay. And you can see that you, you can see that the CAD file has been converted to a GeoDatabase feature class. So we can go ahead and add this particular data to our map. And uh, right here, so this is now a, a feature uh, a feature layer or a data set for Kalolini area. So I'll show you also how to be able to bring in this data into AutoCAD Map 3D for any design work that is needed. So before then, I will be able to publish this data to my ArcGIS Online account. So come to share and then publish this particular uh, layers here as Kalolini uh, feasibility project. Just to show you the sharing interface. Okay. So this is how you share your data, include the name of the data set, a uh, brief summary and tags. So we can call it Kalolini. Uh, we can have Kisumu also. Tags are just keywords that help you uh, to locate your data. So in the interest of time, I had this particular data set shared, but once you've done that, you simply come to publish and the data is available within your actress online. So the Kalolini feasibility uh, data set is available. So next I'm going to show you how you can actually be able to to bring in the data that has been published from ArcGIS Pro, published ArcGIS Online, bring it to AutoCAD Map Civil 3D. So what you can see on my screen is the Autodesk AutoCAD uh, Map 3D. So this is one of the applications for doing uh, design. It's an Autodesk product. And with the integration of GIS and BIM, we now have what we call the Autodesk Connector for ArcGIS, as well as the option to publish so the Autodesk connector for ArcGIS allows you to bring in uh, GIS data into your AutoCAD from ArcGIS Online or the Enterprise uh, portal, as well as publish data from AutoCAD to ArcGIS Online or the Enterprise portal. So I'll just click on the Autodesk connector for ArcGIS, which will give me a window for me to sign into my ArcGIS Online uh, account. So as is, you can see I was already signed on, but for us to be able to appreciate this better, let me just sign out and then sign in again. So right here, so this is the interface you get, then I'll choose to connect and it will give me the option to sign in with my ArcGIS online credentials. So I'm just signing in with my 
Actually, some line credentials. Just signing in. All right. So I'm actually accessing my ActiS Online right within AutoCAD Map 3D. So I am actually signed in. You can see my initials here. So our project site is in Kisumu. That's Kalulini, Kisumu, Kenya. So I'll search for Kisumu and then zoom into the area. Then I'm just going to draw uh, a polygon within that area. So as you can see on the screen, once I the polygon has been created around Kisumu area, I'm actually able to bring in data sets from my just online or enterprise portal right here. So I can bring in a content that is available publicly, shared within my content or groups and other features within my organization. So I'll go to my content and I'll search for Kalolini data that I, I had already published. So just searching for Kalolini data. And right here, I have my Kalolini feasibility uh, data project. So I'll just select it. And once that is selected, remember, I am actually accessing this information in AutoCAD Map 3D. And this information is available within my ActiS Online. So it shows me the list of all the layers that I want. So you can always select and deselect the layers that you want. In my case, I have selected all of them for that particular project site for the feasibility study. Once that's done, I'll just click Add the data to my design project within AutoCAD. So I'll just click on Add to my uh, project. And it's going to take a few minutes just to add um, the GIS data into my AutoCAD. So actually with the Autodesk connector for ArcGIS, it makes it very easy to bring in GIS data that you need for your design within any of the Autodesk applications, including the AutoCAD map 3D. So we'll just give it a minute or so for it to load and we will actually see uh, very good. I think it's already loading and you can see the project, the data set within my, my AutoCAD. So very quickly, we've been able to bring in GIS data into AutoCAD Map 3D. And um, the engineers working on this data can then go ahead and uh, do their designs with the data and publish it back to ArcGIS Online. So the next thing that I'm going to show you is how you can be able to publish once the designs are done, how you can actually be able to publish these data from your Autodesk application, for instance, like AutoCAD here, and publish it for it to be accessible within ArcGIS Online. So simply come to Publish to ArcGIS. Again, you'll need to sign in with your ArcGIS Online credentials. So I'll just click on Connect. Then I'll select uh, the entire layers for the project that we have. So the, the assumption here is that you've already done your design and you have all the all the layers and information that you need to share back. Then I'll click uh, OK. So this data is actually going to be published from AutoCAD Map 3D to Actress Online just a minute before the interface appears. All right, we're gonna give it another second. Okay, right here. So you can see it actually shows the, the area of interest that we selected. So I can go to the, uh, to the next button. Then this shows us all the data, data sets that we had within our, our project. And you can always just see the attribute information and everything that was existing within our data set. Then move to next. So here, maybe let me just call it CAD GIS. Let me just call it CAD GIS conversion. And then we will confirm once that is published to our just online account. Uh, give it a summary conversion of college sharing data. And then tags, you can call it Kalulini. You can have Kalulini and uh, Kisumu. Okay. Then once that's done, we click on next. And it actually asks us where the location where we want to publish that information. So I'll publish the information to my content. 
and then go ahead and click on publish. So it's actually publishing whatever information and data I have worked on within AutoCAD Map uh, 3D to my ArcGIS Online account. So as that loads, I'm going to just show you my ArcGIS Online organizational account, and then we give it a minute or so before the data is published and we're able to see. So this is my content within ArcGIS Online. And I have um, other existing uh, data sets. So once that data set has actually finished publishing, we should actually be able to see it added to my ArcGIS Online account. So let's just see the progress. We'll give it um, maybe a few seconds to a minute for it to finish publishing. So the GIS and BIM integration has really made it very easy to share data within, within these platforms and across these platforms. So with the Autodesk connector for ArcGIS, you bring in GIS data to your Autodesk application. And also the publish to ArcGIS feature enables you to be able to share information from your uh, Autodesk application back to your ArcGIS platform that's either ArcGIS Online or the ArcGIS uh, Enterprise uh, portal. So we're also just gonna give it um, a few seconds, but it should actually almost be done. Then we shall be able to see the published data in ArcGIS Online. All right, so I'm just trying to reload here and just ensure that as soon as that data is published, we have it right here. All right, very good. So just to confirm, uh, it's actually still uploading just a second, but you can already see within my ArcGIS Online that the data is already being loaded. So you can actually see the card JS conversion, the exact uh, layer that I actually give that particular uh, data set when you're publishing. So once it's done publishing, it will just indicate here that uh, publishing is complete and we can open that particular data set in ArcGIS Online and just see whether the data tallies with uh, the information that we had here before we actually published it. Very good. So it shows that publish succeeded and it shows the number of features that have been published to ArcGIS Online. So this is now completed. So you have the option of viewing it directly here. You can either just click on this and it takes you to ArcGIS Online where you can view it. But for my case, since I already had ArcGIS Online open, so this is the CAD file that we've published. It's a feature layer. So I'm just going to open it for us to appreciate that it's the same uh, information that I had within my, my AutoCAD. All right, let's open this in Map Viewer. Okay, very good. So I'm just gonna move to my project uh, site and give it a second just for it to load and we'll be able to see the data. Okay, so let me just zoom into my project site. Uh, yes, let's give it a minute. And very good, right here, we actually have the same data set that we had within our AutoCAD application published to ArcGIS Online. So quickly, the video has just taken us through how you can be able to do, uh, to share data, convert CAD data, uh, that's CAD data to GIS and actually share that information across the different platforms. And we've looked at how you can be able to uh, convert the CAD data in ArcGIS Pro, publish it to ArcGIS Online, bring it to AutoCAD Map 3D, and also publish it back to ArcGIS Online. Thank you, and see you in our next video.